Okay, up here on Mount Hood, uh, Trillium Lake behind me, Mount Hood would be behind me. Uh, gonna do a little lens test today with the uh, Sigma 50 Cine lens. My Canon 1250, and since I don't own a cheap 50, I've got the 40 pancake that uh, we're gonna do a little test with it. See which, you know, 120 bucks, four grand and 1300 in that plain that area there um, so we're gonna see what they look like a little shop and compare because I'm thinking about buying the cine lens um, so we're gonna see what they look like Okay, so finding that uh, I really like the focus on the Sigma. It's really nice and smooth. Uh, the 50, the Canon 50, uh, when you're manual focusing, it's a little bit of a long throw to do the same thing you can do on the Sigma. And the actually the 40 pancake is really pretty easy to focus. Uh, the throw is pretty short on that thing, so it's pretty nice. So I'm seeing those little uh, little uh, differences in the lenses right now still hoping that the mountain was going to show but uh, I don't think so so I think we're going to call it good on the footage I've got so far it's starting to get a little bit sunny out here but uh, it's just uh, it's not going to break and I'm not going to spend the entire day here waiting for it uh, the light would have been great this morning when I got here early but uh, it's not. So we're going to head back to the studio and uh, start looking at this stuff, put it together, see what I think, and uh, we'll see the results. All right, so I'm back to the studio.
Okay, so I've had a look at the footage and um, everything was shot at uh, 4K, ProRes 422 and Rec 709. So everything uh, stayed the same each time I changed the lenses. I never changed color or exposure or anything. Oh, only on one shot, I think I was shooting at f2 in the 40 millimeters, 2.8. So a little change there. But I did see a little bit of difference in color and contrast between the three lenses. Uh, the Sigma color and contrast I really like a lot. And the focus on that is super smooth for when you're racking focus. It's just, I mean, it's really good. I really, really like that. The 50, the Canon 50 millimeter, uh, again, it's kind of a long throw to get that thing to, to tr rack focus. And it, um, it seems a little bit flat, not as contrasty, which may be good when you're um, doing some color grading, things like that. Um, again, these weren't color graded at all, just straight out of the camera. And um, so everything's the same for each frame, each, uh, each lens. Um, the 40 is, the focus on it is, a, it's really quick, but it's a little squirrely too. So if you're trying to uh, follow something like I was following those little ducks, it's a little bit squirrely. You go a little too far because it's so quick. Probably best to just use that one end uh, autofocus when you can. Uh, overall, they all look pretty sharp. The Sigma and the uh, the Cine Sigma and the Canon 50 both, I think, look really good wide open, and that's primarily where I like to shoot uh, since I'm primarily a lifestyle sports photographer. Uh, I do a little bit of video now, but not a lot. I like to shoot in the wide open, very, very little stop down uh, range. So if the lens performs good in that area, I, I'm really sold on it. Um, I don't know right now if the difference is big enough for me to spend the 3400 bucks uh, to buy that lens just to have it. I want it, <laughs> but I, I can't rationalize it in this COVID era right now where the jobs are just kind of infrequent and, uh, and the, my big travel jobs just aren't happening. So uh, I don't want to spend the money right now. Maybe later in the year when uh, I need a write-off or something, I'll go spend the money. And I'd like, I'll stick with their primes because I know they're, their zooms aren't full frame, don't cover the full frame, their primes do, so I'd probably get a couple primes, uh, the 50 for sure, the 35, and maybe the 20 uh, primes is what I would be after. Again, I really like the focus and the color of their, and the contrast of their lenses. So I would do that, but right now I can't, I can't make the jump just because I gotta watch the, watch the budget right now. Uh, everybody, uh, take a look, see what you think. I mean, the difference isn't, isn't huge. So, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll link to uh, what the costs of these are. The, uh, the 40 Pancake Canon, I think is around, I think it's 179. The uh, Canon 50 1.2, which I do love that lens a lot. I think it's around 1300 and then the, the uh, Sigma Cine is about 3500 I do believe, but I'll link all that in there so you can take a look at that. But again, let me know what you think in the comments, if you think one looks better than the other. Uh, I don't know, there's not a huge difference that I can see at this moment, but it was a good test for me. I saw what I needed to see, whether I wanted to spend the money on this thing or not. I do, but just not at the moment. So anyway, that's it for this test and uh for now i'm out oh yeah it was a bummer we didn't get to see mount hood in the background that's why i got up bloody early to drive up there and uh wasn't there unfortunately in the clouds so till next time i'm out